Hi everyone, Jaquez here and I am back again with some cutting edge tips and techniques. Now in this video, we're going to explore how to seamlessly integrate Calendly with your WordPress website. Now what is this feature? Whether you're managing a personal brand or running a business, Calendly's embed options are versatile tools designed to integrate your scheduling page directly into your website. Now this means that visitors can book appointments or meetings without leaving your site, providing a seamless experience. Now Calendly offers several ways to embed your scheduling page on your WordPress site, such as inline embed, pop-up widget, pop-up text. Now, before we dive into the demo, let's make sure we have everything you need to embed Calendly into your WordPress site. So the first thing you need is an active Calendly account. And if you don't have one, you can sign up now at Calendly.com. Number two, a WordPress website. Let's make sure your WordPress site is up and running. You'll need access to your WordPress dashboard. So that way we can implement the code into your website. Now, before we dive into the specific embed options, let's discuss the difference between embedding your event type and embedding your entire Calendly page. Now, when you're embedding your event type, this provides a direct way for your visitors to schedule that specific event type useful for highlighting specific events or limiting scheduling options. Now, if you're embedding your entire Calendly page, this will offer your visitors a view of all your available event types, giving them more flexibility and options. Now, the choice depends on what works best for your scheduling needs and the user experience you want to provide. For this demo, I'm going to embed a specific event type using our three embed features. Let's get started. Now in this demo, we're going to be focusing on embedding Calendly into your WordPress site. So if you're using a different platform, please visit our help center at help.calendly.com for guides tailored to your specific software. So we're going to start with first inline embed. Now the inline embed feature allows you to add your scheduling page directly on your website. So to get started, the first thing we want to do is select the event type that we want to embed. And we're going to go forward with the sales connection event type. Now to get to those options where we can add them to our website and we get our code, we're going to select the share button here. And then we're going to locate add to website. Now we're going to go with the first option, which is inline embed and then select continue. And then from here, we have the ability to customize what we want to display on our booking page once we display it onto our website. So you can hide the event details if you want to. You can hide the cookie banner. You can change the background color to your specific brand. You can also do that with the text color, the button and link color. Again, this is a great way for you to really customize the experience that your customers and clients will have when they're booking a meeting with you. I'm gonna leave everything as is since it matches the brand that I want to portray. And I'm gonna go ahead and select copy code. Oh, before we do that, let me point something out here that whenever you make any changes on the left hand side, the code will readjust on the right side. So if I select hide event type details, you can see an additional piece of code was added in. So if you're not extremely technical, that's completely okay. The system will automatically adjust the code based on your selections on your left hand side. So I'm gonna to go to uncheck this and we're gonna select copy code. And now let's head to our WordPress site and add this code onto our site. Now that we're on our WordPress dashboard area, right? We want to go to the appearance section and then select editor so we can get to the editing page of our website. Now that we're here, we want to make sure that we select the page that we want to make edits. And this is the location where I want to add in my inline embed. So what I'm going to do is kind of click into it and locate this plus icon to locate the custom HTML widget. Now, this is very important because this is the widget that you can use to embed the code into your WordPress website. We're going to select custom HTML. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paste that code that was provided to us on our Calendly account here. And we're going to preview it to make sure it looks the way that we want it to look. And as you can see, when you select the preview button, we see that our inline embed appears exactly how we want it to appear. 
now feel free to click around in it to make sure it's active and it's showing exactly the experience that you want your customers and clients to experience and then you are good to move forward up next we have the pop-up widget now the pop-up widget adds a button to your site that when clicked opens your scheduling page in a pop-up window now currently WordPress has restrictions when it comes to using a pop-up type embed so I'm gonna show you a workaround that you can use within WordPress that can also create the same effect by using the button tool within WordPress so first what we're gonna do is locate our event type that we wanna use for that specific use case I'm gonna choose CS connections and I'm gonna copy the link here now let's head to our WordPress site and what we want to do is open up the button option. Now once we have that open, we want to customize the text for the button. And then we want to insert the link that will take our customer to our booking page from within that button. Select enter and now you have a customized button placed on your website that you can use for customers and clients to book a session with you. Now within WordPress you have the ability to customize the text formatting, the color, uh, the button size and the element of the button. So feel free to play around with that to meet your brand goals for your website. Now finally we have the pop-up text. Now similar to the pop-up widget, pop-up text creates a text link that opens your scheduling page in a pop-up window when clicked. Now, what we want to do to get this started is first locate the event type that we want to use. I'm going to select Learning Calendly, select the Share button, then we're going to go to the Add to Website option. From there, let's locate Pop-Up Text, select Continue, and now we see the settings presented to us to customize the pop-up text widget before we embed it to our website. So you have the ability to customize the link text, and just like our previous embed, you can customize the look of the form by changing the background color, text color, button and link color to match your company or your brand layout. Now we're going to select copy code and we're going to head to our WordPress site and we're going to open up an HTML block. So let's choose custom HTML and what we're going to do is paste that code within that block. Once we paste it in, we're going to select preview and you'll now see that the pop-up text appears and it's ready and active to be used on our site. Now integrating Calendly directly on your website, it streamlines the scheduling process, making it ultra convenient for your visitors. Now this seamless integration, it enhances user experiences and boosts your lead generation and client management efforts. It's a game changer for businesses and professionals aiming to simplify their appointment booking process. To maximize the benefits of Calendly's embed options, consider customizing the look to match your brand. You can adjust the colors, text, and even the availability displayed to ensure it aligns with your website's aesthetics. Now for those who are tech savvy, dive into the developer embed code for deeper customization. Now these advanced tweets can significantly enhance the user experience on your site. Now that's it for me. We've covered a lot today on embedding Calendly into your WordPress site and how you can use these features to level up your customer experience. Don't forget to check out our video library in our help center for more information on using Calendly to its full potential. If you have any questions about Calendly features, drop them in the comments below or you can check out our help center which is also linked in the description below. While you're here, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with those who will find it useful. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll dive deeper into Calendly features. Until then, happy scheduling.